Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss how to create a Google Recapture in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. So we will firstly go on a Google Recapture website. It's a google.com slash recapture. You can open this link. now transfer to google recapture and uh, click on a get recapture button now it's transfer on a new page is a uh, register a new site you can enter here any label for this like a uh, test recapture and uh, click the type of uh, google recapture it's uh, google recapture v2 and uh, this is the invisible recapture this recapture for android users so you can click any like uh, i click on this and uh, you can add uh, all the related domains that you apply this recapture on those domains so enter here domains and they click on accept the recapture terms of service when you click on a register then it's provide a google site key and a secret key that we use in our code so i already created a site key and a secret key for this google recapture so we go to our visual studio and create a new sp.net mbc web project now here we select sp.net mbc mbc for web application and, and rename my project and click to ok it's now creating a web project it selected empty template click to ok now my project is ready so we go to visual uh, solution explorer click on this solution explorer now the project is created so firstly we need to add a, a controller for this Make a home controller and then click to add button. Now, controller is created, and uh, then right click on the index action method and uh, add, add a new view. Click on a uh, add view, click to add. Now my view is created. Now here we create a design for this. In first step, we need to add uh, two new JS libraries, JavaScript libraries. So I already created this this is the javascript libraries so click this is the jquery dot minified dot js and uh, this is the google recapture library so i add this now we create a design for this this is the form method to post it's input type it's a type is equal to text and it's a placeholder like a uh, enter email and 
One more text box, uh, like a mobile number, mobile number, and now I create a div for Google Recapture. Like we provide any meaningful name, like uh, I provided div. Capture and uh, I take one more text box for validations. ID is equal to TXT capture. And the type is equal to text, and we hide this button for display it's equal to none, and we require this text box. And I taking one more button for a submit. input type input type is equal to submit and it's the value submit button now I also create a post method for this HTTP post pass any other parameters for differentiate between these tools now we create a script for creating a google recapture it's uh, taking a variables like a on load callback we are taking a function here creating a gray gray capture dot render we render a recapture into this tube div capture we provide a side key the side key I already created Google Recapture on a Google Recapture website, so I simply copy this. And uh, I also provide a callback. Callback is function. The response when it's a success then then we put some value into this capture code txt
do 12 we write any text into this text box like a t is a true now this all this we created now all done we now run this project we click on a uh, in browser now is running now google recaptcha is loaded and uh, enter here a email any email like a test at gmail.com and a mobile number here and if we not click on a uh, Google recapture then this form is not submitted so I click on this Google recapture no it's okay and I click on a submit button no this form is submitted so this all this done of for this uh, Google recapture so if you have any questions related to this topic please write in a comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please click on a subscribe button and click on a like button so thanks bye bye we will meet in next video session